morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. It's really early in the morning, so I might try to talk a little bit quiet so everybody can sleep. As you can see, it's like pitch black outside, and um, I don't know why I'm not, I didn't sleep in, but my body just wakes me up at a normal time, I guess, that I usually get up, and here I am. But yesterday, we drove the two and a half hours to my future daughter-in-law's um, bridal shower and we spent a few hours there and it was so lovely it was so nice everything was just beautiful and um i'm just so over the moon and excited for this wedding coming up in june i'm just really excited about it it's gonna be wonderful so um i couldn't ask honestly for a better person for jacob um it's like all of our prayers have been answered for both of them and they're just they're an amazing couple so um i'm here i'm awake and I thought, what better time to do this? I have, finally, <laughs> I shouldn't say finally, it's still pretty early, um, bargain bead box for the month of April, and I'm excited to unbox it. I've been seeing people making things already on their Facebook page, and um, I refrained from doing any sneak peek videos or anything like that, probably because I've just been too busy to even, um, to even look and if I'm gonna try to use today to catch up on any social media if I read something I didn't respond I probably responded in my head but um, set my phone down immediately and jumped on to the next thing so I will kind of take a glance and see if I missed anybody um, sorry Beth I know that I missed you um, I was driving a lot and um, where we were having the bridal shower my phone for some reason just did not have reception and I didn't really want to have my face in my phone. I was trying to take in the moment. So I do apologize for anybody who um, was trying to reach me and couldn't reach me for anything, but I'll do my best to get back to you guys and hopefully today. So um, I do have a few things I need to go run and do today. One of the things I don't need to do, but I want to do is I want to go to Dollar General. I've been trying to reorganize myself. I don't know if you noticed, it looks a little bit cleaner back here. I did that last night because for some reason when I got home, even though I was exhausted, I wasn't tired enough to lay down and rest. I wanted to do something. I had to, probably because I was sitting for so long. I mean, we left at like 9.30 in the morning and I didn't get home till seven last night. So it was a long day, but I needed to keep moving probably because I wasn't moving at all for like all those hours. So, but enough chit chat. I'm sorry, I'm keeping you so long, but I feel like there's so many things to fill you guys in on. Anyway, what you really want to do is you want to unbox this and we want to design something. I know we do. That's what I want to do. That's what we all want to do. So I'm going to flip this around and take care of that. Okay, so April's Bargain Beat Box is Blooming Branches Collection. And the approximate total retail value for this shipment is $94.81. So that's, um, that's a big amount there. And let's just read a little bit here. So it says, Bargain Bee Box Blooming Branches. The trees are showing off for spring, dressed in their best buds and blooms, inspired by the pinks and purples of red bud blossoms and the tulip poplars, poplars, <laughs> yellow and greens. This month's Sylvan selections include two gemstone tree of life pendants, genuine gemstone strands and rose quartz, citrine and more, plus sparkling crystal accents, glass flowers, and a collection of silver finished findings with leaf and tree motifs. So that's pretty exciting. I can't wait to take a look at everything. So let me go ahead and get this all opened up and sorted out so that it's easy for me to show you what we got. Okay, everyone, I got it all sorted out and we will start unboxing this and looking at everything. So the first thing on the list is 31 by 27 Rose Quartz Tree of Life Pendant and the retail value is $6.99. This is beautiful. I love the little swirl detail in the branches. So pretty. And I love that rose quartz. And there's the back. That's what that looks like. It's just gorgeous. That's definitely going to be a stunner. Definitely. So then the next thing is 8 millimeter rose quartz round beads. And you get a 15 inch strand. 
can't get bags open this morning. I'm still drinking my coffee. So this is a nice size strand. It's huge. It's a lot of rose quartz and it's very pretty. It looks very, very well um, done. It's like perfect. I don't see any any issues at all with the beads. Like, you know, sometimes you get like a gemstone that has like a flatter end, um, but these are perfect in every way. Just gorgeous. Number three is 48 by 27 millimeter brass tree of life pendant with faceted amethyst. This is really neat. This is really pretty. Look at that amethyst on there. That's gorgeous. And it has, mine has some little um, brownish inclusions on it, which is really neat. And it has like some micro facets on the side. There's the back. And this is just a really, really pretty pendant. I like that there's so many trees, trees of life in this box, in this bag, it's beautiful. So next is eight millimeter Mountain Jade and it's dyed Dolomite in violet. And it's a 15 inch strand. This is really pretty, look at that color. It reminds me more of like a lilac color. And I love lilac trees. I love the way lilacs smell. It's actually one of my favorite candles at Bath and Body Works. Um, it's just beautiful. And look at all these, like the, here's one, look at the inclusions on this one. And you get some lighter shades, some deeper shades, some that are kind of both shades on one bead. Just really, really pretty. I love that. Leave it there. Okay, and number four is eight, I'm oh, sorry, number five is four by three millimeter Malaysian, Malaysia Jade, which is actually dyed quartz, faceted rondelles. You get a 14 inch strand. Ooh. That's deep purple. Look at that. Let me put it in here. Look at that. That is so pretty. It's just gorgeous. And you guys know I love a good rondelle. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I was really excited to get this box and seeing all the beautiful works of art people have been making. And I'm like, oh, I wanna make something. All right, so next is number six. You get six millimeter citrine and they're heated round beads and you get a, four, a 15 inch strand. So this one actually has a retail of $12.99 and I believe it. This is some beautiful citrine. Look at this. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. This is gorgeous citrine. I love that. Love how it's like a little bit cloudy in spots and um, I shouldn't say cloudy, more like milky. It's really, really pretty. That's gorgeous. The citrine looks really nice against this purple too, doesn't it? It looks really good against that purple. And then number next, it, number next, <laughs> you guys, I'm still, look, I'm still drinking my coffee. <laughs> Me. So I'm not quite there yet. I managed to put makeup on and everything before, but I'm still kind of half asleep. So six by four millimeter crystal faceted rondelles in peridot green iris. Wow, wow, you guys. And this is a 16 inch strand. This is sparkly and beautiful. That peridot and iris, oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Wow. Look at that, look at that with the citrine. Oh my gosh, that is just gorgeous. Okay, and then next we have um, nine and a half crystal, nine and a half millimeter crystal faceted round beads in light rose AB, and you get 20 pieces. Ooh, these are micro faceted for sure. Look at that, they look like little fun disco balls. So pretty. Very, very, very sparkly. It's in a little tray here. Beautiful. And then next we have um, six millimeter crystal faceted bicone beads in light rose AB and you get a 10 inch strand. These are really pretty 
pretty, pretty bicones. Look at how beautiful those are. There's a lot of pink in this and I am not mad about that. I love pink, very pretty. I think this has gotta be one of my favorites because you guys know I like teeny weenies. So um, we have a three by two millimeter crystal faceted rondelles in grapevine mix and you get a 16 inch strand. I love these. Like this would be such a great strand to do, you know, as a, as like a layer on like a multi-layer necklace to have one little skinny strand like that. That is really, really pretty. I love that. Absolutely love that. Okay. And then next we have 10 pieces, 10 by 11 millimeter pressed glass flowers and lavender um, is it ombre? Ombre? <laughs> and these are really, really cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at these. Oh man, this screams dangle necklace to me. Just, and oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I saw them on the little sneak peek that Lauren did for bargain beatbox on YouTube and this was one of her favorites and I can absolutely see why and honestly like the video this one or hers or anyone else's do these little flowers no justice you have to get them in your hand to see how beautiful they really truly are all right next we have some findings here so here's all of our beads and our pendants and now we have some findings and some other cool little things. So we have um, 10 grams of five by three millimeter bumpy rondelle spacers. So these are cute little spacers. I don't know if you can see it really well if it's focusing, but they have the little bumpies on the side. I like these little textured spacers. Those are really cute. I'll just put these in here. Just pour them out of my hand and put them right in there. Whoop. A little pocket for them. And then next we have 40 pieces, six millimeter leaf bead caps. And of course all these are lead free, nickel free, cadmium free. And the leaf um, bead caps are probably one of my favorites. I order them all the time. I love the little leaf design on them. These are like the perfect bead caps for someone like me. I, cause you know I like bead caps, but I'm not like, I don't use a ton of bead caps. I like just a little peak of some metal. I don't want half of my bead covered most of the time. So these are always a go-to for me. Love them. So pretty. We still have more to do you guys. So next is a two piece 27 by 23 swirled tree pendants. And here they are. These are really, really pretty pendants and they are double sided, which is super nice. And you know, sometimes it doesn't always happen that way. They're usually one sided, but these are double sided. So these are really great. Love those. And the next are 18 by 14 millimeter rhinestone tree charms and you get two pieces. Oh, these are so cute. They're little teeny tiny rhinestones in the tree branches here. And those are really, really pretty. I love the little, like almost like a gilded type edge. And here's what the backs look like. They're not two sided, but these are really cute little charms. I think they would make really precious little earrings. Like. I can see, you know, maybe doing a little thing here and then hanging some dangles here underneath it would be really cute earrings. I might do that with those. All right, and then next is two piece, 47 millimeter hypoallergenic stainless steel leaf pendants. I like the stainless steel. These are so cute. These would make really cool pendant. Or honestly, you guys know I like those big earrings. These would make phenomenal earrings. And you know, maybe you could wire wrap some beads on here to, you know, decorate it up a little bit. Um, maybe they could be patinaed even, I don't know, but, or, you know, painted in some kind of way too, to um, 
you know, elevate the stainless steel. Not that stainless steel needs to be elevated, but here's the back and the front. They're, you know, basically the same. So those are really cool. I like those. I wonder if I'd even make like a really neat bracelet bar. Well, it's not curved enough and it's too big, so probably not. All right, and then next we have a 28 millimeter Tree of Life chandelier focal. This is really cool. This is really pretty. It has lots of opportunity. You know, you can hang it here. You can do this as like even a link and maybe do two strands coming off the bottom of it, which would be really pretty. You guys know I like to do my like little focal pieces off to the one side. And I think that would look really cool. That's a definite possibility for that little guy. And we have two left here. So next is one meter of hypoallergenic stainless steel Luma, Luma China chain, Luma China chain. Oh, this is really pretty. Look at the detail on this chain. This is beautiful. I don't think I've ever worked with any chain like this. And it just, it feels like it just moves so nice. A little bit of a twist there. That's okay, that'll come out. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful chain. I love that. I'm kind of anxious to work with that. I don't think I ever have. And last but not least are two sets, 36 by 22 leaf toggle clasp. And these are like always a favorite too. These are so pretty. I love the little like grape detail on the one toggle piece here. And these leaves are pretty. These give you an opportunity even to use this as a pendant and do some really pretty work down here with some long dangles and really, really pretty. I love them. All right, so that is our Blooming Branches collection for um, the month of April for Bark and Beatbox. And I am very happy with this one. This one is so pretty. I can't wait. I'm gonna make something in just a minute. I'm gonna clear this away and um, pick up my mess and I think we're gonna make something and I think we're gonna do some earrings today. I am just, I love these and I really wanna use these and I think I actually wanna wear them. So <laughs> let's, make my, let's make me some earrings to wear today. That would be fun. Okay, I'll be right back you guys. Okay everyone, I'm back and I have everything. I have my fish hook ear wire, some head pins and eye pins here. Um, I wanna use two of these little flowers we're going to use these little Tree of Life pendants. I have some bead caps that we're going to use as well. Um, we are going to use the um, this lilac color, this dolomite. It is actually uh, violet is what it is. So we're gonna use that. Let me get my cutters and we'll open that up and get a couple of those. Okay, so I only really need two of these guys. And then I'm gonna put the rest back in the bag. I'm trying to clean up as I, why did I put that in my little trash bin? Um, <laughs> because I'm serious, I'm still sleeping. All right, so I'm only gonna use two of those. I'll put the rest of these in my bag. I'm gonna try to clean up as I go too. So I don't know, I'm trying to create good habits here, guys. So let's just put these back in the bag here. Set it off to the side. And then we have these beautiful peridot green and iris um, crystal beads that we're going to use. And I'm going to need a quite, I think a few of these. So let's just take off a little handful. There we go. And I'll leave these in a little tray because we might need more. Put the package with it. <laughs> And we're also going to use um, some of the 4x3 Malaysia Jade rondelles in this beautiful purple. Why are my cutters doing that? That's crazy. All right, I must be uh, working them overtime or something that the little grip is moving up. All right, so let's get off a little handful of these because we're gonna want those too. Okay, and then I'll put those in a tray in case we need more really just depends on how long I wanna make these earrings. And there we go. So we're gonna do a little pair of earrings here. And my idea is 
to have these be here, um, these beautiful <clears throat> Malaysia J ones here. And again, I want to do some dangles. So we're gonna have some scattered little dangles at the bottom here and just um, make it pretty and sparkly and very springy. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and move everything off to the side and let's start with one thing at a time here. So let's start with our little Malaysia J guy here. And we wanna put him on an eye pin. I have um, some eye pins that I got from Beadbox Bargains. Yeah, Beadbox Bargains. Bargain, yeah, Beadbox Bargains. <laughs> you guys, I need to wake up. I, I don't know what's going on with me right now. I need more coffee or something or breakfast. Maybe I need breakfast. Um, so let's just make our little top part of our earrings. And I'm gonna do this. I wanna put the little green one down below here and I'm just beading them on. And here's my little leaf bead caps. Looks really cute. And we're gonna do a simple loop on this one. And so I'm just gonna bend it over like that, right across the top and cut off what we don't need, leaving about a quarter of an inch. Oh, I think that just flew into my coffee. I thought I had it grabbed. <laughs> you guys get to see me be early morning clumsy today. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All right, so, and then let's just go ahead and flip that around. I'll have to drink my coffee very carefully just in case it landed in there. And now we have our little loop on that one. So let's go ahead and kind of build this as, as we go, because we're gonna do one at a time here. All right, so let's open up the bottom of this eye pin and put on our little rhinestone tree of life. Goodness. All right. I almost did those, I think I did those loops perfectly. Almost. If you don't have your, your loops lined up perfectly, you can just grab a hold of the one and twist the other one and then it should fix itself. There we go. All right, so now we want to do some dangles. So I have one, want one of these on here. I want some purple, like this, like this. like that so let's start here and so we're going to need to use an eye pin and let's do I kind of feel like I want some of those bumpy spacers here let me grab that real quick I know they're here somewhere there we go nope that's not bumpy spacer I will I promise you guys at some point I will get it together all right here we go I'm just glad you're so patient with me. So kind and so patient always. Sweet, sweet people. All right, so let's put one of these little purple guys on here and one of our bumpy spacers and another one of these little purple guys. And then let's go ahead and make a simple loop again. I also grabbed some jump rings in case we need those, which I think we probably will. And let's make our loop. All right. And then let's do this one. So I wanna do one of these little purple beads and these beautiful green iris beads and our little flower. Hmm, I don't know. You know what? No, I need a head pin. I'm sorry, you guys. I need a head pin. And then our flower. Okay, so now we have this little flower and I think that looks really cute. And let's do the green one right here on top. And then let's go ahead and make our little simple loop here. That one felt a little more um, substantial. All right, make our loop. 
Okay, let's go ahead and hook these two items together. I think I might cut some of that chain and use some of that chain. All right, so now we have that dangle, and these are gonna be a little bit long, and um, I'm, I'm good with that. I like a little bit long. And let me grab a couple. I need a couple little, let me see, Let's see if that guy works. A little jump ring here. Um, I think somebody had asked me where, somebody had asked me, where I got these from. I have no idea. I've had these for so many years now. I think they were just like in a really cheap set because when I first started, I just ordered a bunch of stuff on like Amazon. And um, I don't know, I don't know where I got these from. But they even have like, like this is like a little crimper here, it looks like. And I think this is actually like a cutter. I've never used this or this, but I think that's what this is. So I have no idea where these came from. These I got at um, Hobby Lobby and their um, cousin brand. They're, they feel nice, they're um, ergonomic. The only thing I don't like about them is the little metal thing. I think this one came out and like got lost at some point. This one slides too. I mean, it still works just fine, but um, that's the only thing I don't like about them is it just, they're not, not nothing against this brand or anything, but I don't feel like these were made really well. Um, so they they feel good in my hand, um, but that's it. These are from Bead Landing, so um, those Bead Landing you can get that brand pretty much anywhere. So um, they're really good. All right, let's just hook this little guy on here. And we are just kind of creating this as we go, you guys, because I have like visions in my head that I need to do something with, but I'm not sure exactly what yet. And let's grab the chain, because I think I want to use some of this chain, like on this side of the tree, and maybe make them like one about this length and then one a little bit shorter. So let's do that. These are these links are so teeny tiny. I'm not really sure what to do exactly. I do know I want to cut this little piece off. I don't even know what that little piece is. It's a nice sturdy chain though. I mean it's really good chain. All right, so let me find some little jump rings here. And I think what I'll end up doing is I'll end up hanging. Oh, I don't want that size. I want the same size I used. I'll end up hanging the um, two pieces of chain that I cut off the same jump ring. So it'll just kind of hang right here, right next to it. All right, so let's cut some pieces of this. And this looks like it's gonna be really kind of interesting to use. So let's, let's, if you haven't used this, don't worry, I haven't either. We'll figure it out together. And it looks like I wanna leave the, there's like the link that doesn't have like a bunch of little swirly things in it. And I think I wanna leave one of those intact. So let's cut this one here. You know what, that's a lot sturdier than what I thought it was gonna be. Let me grab my, these cutters. Okay, there we go. So there's one piece. And then let's do another piece that's gonna be shorter. So right about here, I think. And then let's go ahead and just, while we're here, let's measure out and cut the other pieces we're gonna need for our other earring. And that way we have close to the same measurement here. All right, so let me grab a head pin. This is honestly probably the easiest way to gauge what size you need to cut your links um, so you can make them even is put one of them on a head pin and then cut it and, and then put the other piece of chain on the head pin and then cut where they meet. So it's a little bit hard to do with my big pliers here but I think that this is just one little single link right here so I think I could just grab a hold of, oh I need to cut this one right here. Okay, 
I'm talking and it's not doing me any good. So let me just cut right here. So I have to tell you, you guys, my, um, the, the boy's mom, Anna, she's very nice and she's always been really nice to me. And, um, but yesterday when we were at the shower, um, she made me tear up. She cornered me and she said to me, um, you have no idea how much I love you and that I love that you're in the boy's life and I know that you would do anything for them as if they were your own. And she said, I'm so looking forward to sitting next, you sitting right next to me at um, our son's wedding. And I teared up immediately because honestly, like whoever had um, someone's ex treat them like that, you know what I mean? Usually there's some animosity because there could have been a bad um, breakup or whatever, but she is just so, so kind. And she did, she made me, she made me cry because she's correct. I love those guys as if they were my own children, as if I gave birth to them myself. And they are just wonderful human beings. I could never, I don't know. When I say I have four kids, I have four kids. And that's just all there is to it. And bringing Devin into our family, which she's already a part of our family and she knows that, um, it just makes it that much nicer. Okay, so let's pull these aside. And let's go ahead and make our little dangles for this. So I'm gonna need a couple head pins, but I wanna just hang one little bead off of each one. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang a little purple one off one and a green one off the other. Just one simple little, one simple little dangle off these beads. I mean, off this chain. Let's just do another simple loop. Give it a little cut. And I can get rid of those for right now. I don't need those. And my pliers, my round nose pliers to make my loop. Whoops. Goodness. And this is really needs to be kind of straightened out here. Got a little wild. If I can't straighten it out, I'm gonna undo it and redo it. This is really not a really thick one. Okay, let's try this again. Where are you? There you are. You know, maybe if we put like a little bumpy rondelle on top, it'll give me a little bit more spot to grip like that. Or maybe we'll do two purple and we'll hang this from the longer one and then hang the green one from the shorter one. Let's do that. I appreciate you guys liking the process of me not knowing exactly what I want to do, but knowing kind of what I want to do and going through the whole process with me as I think about it and change my mind and all this stuff. I'm so glad that you enjoy that part of um, what, what I do. Um, it really makes me happy that you guys enjoy that. All right, I'm just gonna put that on the chain and close that up and just lay it right there. And then let's do this cute little green one. I love this, this green, it's so pretty. And go ahead and make our simple loop for that guy. Do I have the, I just wanna make sure I separate these pieces of chain out correctly. I did, okay. I'd hate to get one earring built and then find out that I actually um, <laughs> put the same length on both earrings. All right. Go. Nice. And open that up. And string him right onto our chain. 
I really like the movement of this chain. It feels like if chain can feel soft, this chain feels soft, if that makes any sense at all to you. All right, and then let's just hang these on here. There we go. And then let's hang them right on here. And I think I'm definitely gonna wear these earrings when I'm done with them because first of all, they will look cute. <laughs> and I think they'll look nice with what I'm wearing. Okay. Okay, yes, I like that. Let's put our ear wire on and we have our first we have our first earring made in our template for our next earring. <laughs> Make sure it's gonna hang the right way, and it is, perfect. Good deal. I like these. Okay, so there's our first earring. That looks really pretty. I really like that a lot. It's fun, it's really, really fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the other one since now we know exactly what we're doing. I can just grab everything we need and we can just bust right through this one and get it made. All right, so I pin the green a bead cap or purple and a bead cap and let me go ahead so I know now how I need to make sure that I'm doing this because um, we want one facing one direction one facing the other so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I don't move that very much and just bend my wire over and let's cut it off, just like that. I am really curious where that little piece of um, <laughs> head pin landed. And make our loop at the top there, wonderful. We can go ahead and hang our little pendant off the bottom here, our charm. There we go. And let's make our dangles. So we have on the head pin, we have a purple, a bumpy spacer, and a purple. Come on, there we go. Make our simple loop. And there we go, just roll that back and we got our loop. And then let's make our next one, which is on a head pin. So we did the purple, the green, the flower, and the green, just like that. And we can do our simple loop on this one. And then let's go ahead and hook all of our stuff together for this one and put our jump ring on it and hang it from our little charm. There we go. Just like, hold on, I wanna make sure I have mirror these. So I'm gonna hang this on the opposite side. There. Okay. And then, now we have our chain here, and it looks like I need one more green one. So let me pull one of those off my strand. And we need a, another jump ring, so let me grab that. There we go. And I think we have the rest of what we need. So all we need now is some, a couple head pins. 
So this one, we needed the purple, the bumpy spacer, and the purple. Okay, let's make our simple loop. Now the second one goes together much faster, doesn't it? When you know what you're doing. <laughs> and then let's make our loop. And let's go ahead and put that on the chain for it right away. And we use the longer chain for that one. So let's put that one on there. There we go. Like so. And then don't need more purple. And we don't need any more bumpy spacers. So all we need is this little green guy. And let's make our simple loop for him. There we go. Let's hook him right on the chain. Now let's put our chain on our, our jump ring. Need the green one towards the inside. Goodness gracious. There we go. And then our purple one. And then let's go ahead and hang that from our sweet little tree here. Yeah, I must be getting hungry. I'm a little bit shaky. I'm going to have to eat something before I head off to the store. Otherwise, you know what that means. It'll be trouble, trouble, trouble. All right. So here's our other earring. All right, guys. I am going to clean up the mess and I will try these earrings on for you and that way you can see what they look like and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So here they are. I think they look really, really pretty and they do hang to right about the end of my neck here. So they are a little bit longer, but if you wanted to make a pair of earrings like this, you can definitely shorten it. You don't have to hang anything from the bottom. You can do like a cute little bead right here and then use that as your um, end of your earring. You can maybe move that up here and just do a bead down below. Um, no matter what you decide, it would look beautiful. These are really pretty earrings. I love the purple with that. And I just think it looks so springy and just so happy. And I really, really like them a lot. So I'm gonna wear these today and um, yeah. I love them. So this has been a great box so far. Uh, very beautiful colors and just beautiful pieces, the charms, the pendants, all of it. Um, I do want to let you know that you can, um, if you don't get the bargain bead box and you want the bargain bead box, you can use the link that I've provided for you in the show notes. And that is my link. It'll go right to um, where you need to be to sign up. It's about $22 a month and it gets shipped right to your door. They don't charge additional shipping. I got $93 worth of beads and other products today for that amount and it's amazing. And then if you want to use my promo code Jody2, J-O-D-Y-2, to save $2 off your first subscription, you absolutely can. Um, if you're not ready to dive in yet and get this bead box, you can then just use my promo code at the sister store, bargain be, uh, beanboxbargains.com and save $2 off your purchase. So if you see a couple things that you want to, maybe you're new to them and you don't know about them and you want to give a couple things a try, you absolutely can and use my promo code, save $2. Okay, I had to pause it for a second because I had a huge sneeze coming. So I did not want to sneeze in your faces. <laughs> so anyway, that's... um. That's what you need to do to get either $2 off the products that you want to buy or if you want to save $2 off your first month. So my last thing to you is, is like a little reminder that 
Um, at the end of April, I am going to stop all the submissions for um, on Jody's Jewelry Creations Facebook page for um, your a few of my favorite things bracelet or necklace or whatever you're going to do, but it's a few of your favorite things, piece of jewelry. Um, so please make sure that you're doing that and you take a picture of it because I'll put you in a drawing for a little curated package of a few of my favorite things. And, um, I will make sure that you get some really cute stuff. So until then, I want to just tell you today will be magical and you need to believe in yourself. So this, of course, is something from my daughter. She gets me the most beautiful <laughs> little mugs. I have so many different mugs. Anyway, much love to you all. I hope you have a very blessed Sunday and enjoy your day. Bye.